Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about boomerangs. Boomerangs are a great way to capture a small moment in time that's a little too long for one image and a little too short for an entire video. Today I'm going to be showing you three progressively more advanced ways to introduce a little bit more creative control into your boomerang making process. Method number one is to use a video clip and change its frame rate to 12 frames a second. From this, we can select a one second or two second portion of the clip, duplicate it, reverse that time, and then repeat it however many times you'd like that boomerang to play. Let's go ahead and import a video clip. GUI24 is an animation that I made at 24 frames a second. I'm going to drag this out onto our timeline. Let's just set our out point and loop our playback so you can kind of see what's going on. All I'm going to do to this clip is apply an effect called posterize time. Double click. What this effect allows me to do is change the frame rate of the clip that I've applied it to. I'm gonna set it to 12 frames per second. Now that we have that, all we're gonna do is alt drag this. Then I'm gonna go into speed and duration, reverse the speed, set our new out point to out here. That's our boomerang. That's all there is to it. To replicate this in an easy to digest manner, all I'm going to do is nest these two together, call it one, and I'll actually I'll just call it animation. And I'll click these out to duplicate them. All right, and that's how you make a boomerang the easiest way in Premiere. Method number two is to use an image sequence to do effectively the same thing. However, we have to make a video clip out of that image sequence first. These images are currently open in Lightroom because I have color corrected them and reduced the noise and sharpened them up and everything. I'll just take you through a little tour of the images here. It's just of my friend Dan clipping some quick draws when we went rock climbing. You can see there's only seven photos. This is fine. So long as your image sequence has six photos or more, you'll be doing all right. You have at least half a second of footage, which means once it's duplicated and reversed, you'll have a second of footage, which is more than enough time to kind of grasp the situation that's going on in the boomerang. The most important step of this process is that you export these images in the correct way. I'm going to shift select all of my images, command shift E to export them. So I already have the folder that I want these images to go to set up, that's fine. The file naming here is going to be important. What Lightroom is gonna do from here during the export is name them A, then A slash one, A slash two, A slash three, A slash four, continued. That's exactly what I want. I want them to be number one through whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and say export. Here's my images in Finder. You can see that what it's done is name them two, three, four, five, six, seven, but not number one. So I'm just going to use the same naming convention that Lightroom has created and call it A1, and now they're all in order. Now I'm gonna hop into Premiere. I'm gonna go ahead and import those images we just created by selecting that folder, A, selecting only the first image, A1. I'm gonna do show options and make sure that this image sequence box is selected. Here's our image sequence as a video. As you can see, this image sequence is playing really, really quickly. That's okay. We're just going to slow it down to 12 frames a second. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna drag this over here. We know that our animation is seven frames long. To make it 12 frames a second, we're just going to stretch it to 14 frames, which I believe is right there. That's 15, there's 14. Cool. So the reason this is playing back so slowly and kind of choppy is because the frame size of the sequence is the same as the JPEGs that I exported from Lightroom, which are really big, 5,000 by 8,000. That's way too large. I'm gonna make this something a little bit easier to render out and easier to preview. So that's just gonna be 1080 by 1920. Just click okay there. Go into our effect controls and drop our scale down. What about there, it's fine. Cool. All right, so now you can see it's a little bit more palatable. It's playing at 12 frames a second, giving it that nice animation feel. 
all you have to do now is alt drag this up onto a new layer you don't have to put it onto a new layer I like to, to just keep things clean right click it speed slash duration reverse speed okay and that's all there is to it to make sure this plays back a few times let's say three times shift click both of our clips let's go to nest to make them a nested sequence we'll just say one and then we'll alt click these out to make three copies but now we have three instances of this clip happening and that's our boomerang just to recap we took a sequence of images exported it from Lightroom, named them correctly, had Premiere reference that image sequence to create a new video clip, changed that video to 12 frames per second so it looks animated. Then we duplicated that clip, reversed its time, created a new clip out of those two clips, and tripled it. So that's the easiest way that I could find to make a boomerang out of an image sequence. There is one more method of creating your image sequence, and this is using long exposure photography or time-lapse photography. The difference in this being that because there's motion blur in these images, it feels a little bit more fluid, even though you're animating on twos at 12 frames per second. I'll show you an example that I made using this method, but I didn't figure it was worth going through the entire process again, just because it's exactly the same as step two just with a lot more attention to detail of how I'm shooting the source images. I hope that this video gave you a little bit of confidence in throwing your own spice into boomerangs that you make in the future. Just to recap, there's two main methods of going about this. The easiest of these methods is to start with a video clip and just reduce its frame rate to 12 frames per second. Once you find a one second clip within that video that you like, you can isolate it, duplicate it, reverse it, and duplicate again and again to create your boomerang. The image sequence method is very, very similar. You just have to create a video out of an image sequence first. To do that, we start in Lightroom, we edit our photos, we export them, naming them in a fashion that Lightroom can read as a sequence, ideally something really, really simple, like a letter or a number. Then we open that up in Premiere and follow the exact same steps as step number one. Thank you so much for watching and getting this far into the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I post every Wednesday, so be sure to come back next week and check out what I made then. Remember that if you had a great time taking these images and then making them into something fun, that's really all that matters. See ya.